Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. So today I want to give you guys highlights from, it's not the worst deck I ever drafted. Actually, in the last two years or so, by Hearth Arena's average tier scores, well, maybe not objectively the worst deck, but pretty damn bad, it scores tied for the second worst deck. So it's second worst deck I've ever drafted, uh, and it's very close to the prior one, but the prior one happened like a year ago or so. And with each expansion, the overall card quality gets higher and higher, and I don't know what the average deck right now is, but I don't think it's too much lower than 70 points. Overall, deck quality has jumped a great deal in the last two expansions, so much so that I think with a reasonable level of confidence, I can say I think it's almost impossible that I will ever draft a deck with a tier score, tier score so low ever again. I think the tier score for this deck is 60.1, if you were wondering. And uh, the really interesting side of this is not just that, yes, it's a pretty poor deck and all that, and yes, it's going to suck and you can't expect it to do well and all that other stuff. The really interesting thing is that it really did quite well. And it did quite well highlighting a few of the things I've been talking about in my last few videos where drafting an overly aggressive deck seems to just grant you far better results than a higher quality, slower deck. And uh, I know this has generally been true, but I have adapted to the prior you know, versions of this theory. Uh, I have drafted more aggressively, so I'm even further out of my comfort zone. So basically what that means is even more aggressive than before will mean what it seems like even more success in Arena. Hope you guys enjoyed the examples to come, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to pick Rogue. I hate playing reactively in Arena with Priest, and I'm never lucky enough to get the proactive cards. Hunter. Nah. My god, these are trash. Alright. That was pretty good. Very good. I like that. Sap's good. I guess. <sighs> I'm taking the draw. Sure. Now nah, I'll go with the Shadow Sensei again. Sniper. Okay. Okay. Now nah, I'll go with Daring Reporter. I like the course here. Oh, yeah, we have two dra uh, Sensei things. Dragon. Subot's pretty good. Uh, oh, the Shadow Sensei tech. I still think it's bad. Doggy. You don't see that very often at all. Holy shit. <laughs> Blade Flurry. Okay. Yeah. I agree, but god damn, this deck is trash. The deck score is 60.1. Make my own to save money. I have paid people in, in, in the past to do that. Um, but in the end, I had to make changes, and it's just kind of a hassle to go back and forth and have other people do it. So, I don't know. And I, you know, when it comes to giving you guys content, I am very proud that. You know, Branya and I do everything. I'm very proud of that. Holy Wrath deck that uses Madame Goya to put Molten Giant back into the deck to guarantee Holy Wrath. Madame Goya is five, Holy... I mean, Madame Goya is six, Holy Wrath is five, so... Uh, I don't see how that would work very well. You'd have to have Emperor and have no deck left and then pull off that combo. 
and then be at low life with Molten Chip. Uh, it's just so inconsistent. I do not see it working out. Pally also seems a little weak to me, but okay. Can I light your fire? So I have Tiger Hero Power and then Shadow Sensei Oil. Or not. Excuse me, you are on fire. is power and I know a lot Playing into Flame Strike, but I really don't think he has it. I just hope he doesn't draw it. He might draw it. He also might have drawn it last turn, so he has two chances at Flame Strike. Because he didn't really need it last turn, but he did need it the turn before that. Yeah. No Kraken. He's got Flame Cannon, probably. Oh, I see. I was thinking of uh, getting him real low, but it's not a two-turn lethal and it could end in disaster. Amazing. Damn. That's the disaster. Flame strike. <sighs> Top deck, the worst card in the deck. Ah, the beauty of Hearthstone. One player needs one card in the entire game to top deck, while the other has one that should never be in any deck and gets that. That's a little better. Overextended and punished. Okay, so it's two turns ago. So he had 16 cards left in his deck. At 5 and 1, there's a good chance he has it. There's 1 in 16, and if he doesn't draw it then, he loses because he's at 3 HP. He can't win at 3 HP anymore. I think I did pretty well. We 
I will take 1 in 16 chance to instantly win. If you think those are bad odds, you're welcome to uh, beat me in arena. Not really any sense in weaponing up here. Ah, there might be actually. All right, let's see if I get cheesed out. I don't even want to take one damage. If I take one damage, I can die to Frostbolt. I had lethal with Stormwind Knight and Sap. Well, at least he has the trade, which makes it very hard for him to win. So in four turns he drew two taunts and a flame strike. Hey Crip, what do you think about having a few cards that have a higher base stats than normal but give random card in the enemy's hand at a reduced mana cost? Would that be viable? Not only is that viable, that just seems like the next step forward for Hurtstaff. <laughs> That's always the kind of shit they implement in the game. Sure, yeah. I wouldn't be crazy about cards like that, but yeah, that will almost certainly happen. I was, um... I was looking, because, you know, I keep telling you that, like, every fucking one drop they print is used. And it actually is almost that. It's not exactly that. Some of the one drops they print are clearly shit. But um, in the last two years of Hearthstone, the majority of one drops have seen constructed play. As opposed to every other mana cost of card. Which is usually around 10 to 15%. Majority, like, more than half. More than half of the uh, one mana cost minions released in the last two years have been used in competitive decks. That should prove it, right? I'd rather play into Consecration. It's not as bad as you might think, because you never keep Consecration in your opening hand. But you had to draw it in the last two turns. Oh, I could draw it, uh, turn one. Okay, so three chances at Consecration if it's in his deck. It's like 10%. The last time I made this gamble, I lost, so, you know. Hopefully. Not bad. <clears throat> yeah, next turn I can do uh, the Shadow Guy plus either the Charger or the Brute. It's very unlikely he'll play a 7 attack 6 drop, so... Yeah, that's surprisingly good. Oh well. Tight 
Time Rewind? Uh, not worth it. He has fewer cards than I do. Time Rewind on Bomb Lobber is a ton of value. Most likely I can just grind him out. So we just want to play for tempo right now. So we don't fall too far behind. Uh, I think I'll actually take this chance. It's not particularly valuable. I don't want the bomb lover dying, because if it does, the um, timer winder is pretty useless. So he has a spare part, the card he just drew, and the card he drew two turns ago. So basically he didn't have anything. <laughs> Favorite healer of ice cream? I um I like strawberry, raspberries, the berries. The berries are good. Damn this this guy's hand is so weak. No need to commit anything more. The victory is yours. Ogre Brute is pretty good for pushing tempo when going second. Which card do you think stand out the most in Hearthstone history? Most of the cards that stand out get nerfed and never stand out ever again. The one exception to that is actually Leroy. I think Leroy is the only card that was a problem, was nerfed, and then was still a problem. Auctioneer? It's true, I guess. Auctioneer. Yes, Lira used to be 4 mana. <laughs> Dread Infernal is super bad, but what can I do? I'm going second way out of my league against the Warlock. And Tread, Infernal. Alright. I actually almost didn't mean to play that. I was still thinking about it. I actually misclicked and dropped it, but... Oh, I'm gonna have to get very lucky. Yeah, he had answers, and then another, and another answer, and then card I can't deal with, and... That's pretty fucking insane! He really has 7 damage. Really. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm 
The only card I can live with is Sap. Well, someone was playing Constructed and someone was playing a bad arena deck from 2014. But eight wins. I'm pretty proud of that. Alright. <clears throat> 